Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to focus on mapping the plot and determining the central message of a story. The plot is what moves the story along. It's all the events that make up the story from the beginning to the end. We can think of the plot like a roller coaster. At the beginning, it's pretty flat. We're introduced to the characters, the setting, and maybe even the problem is introduced at the beginning. Then we have some rising action. The story begins to climb. The problem gets more complicated. Then we hit the top of that roller coaster. That's the climax, the most exciting or suspenseful part or a part where something very important in the story happens. The story begins to fall. As the problem gets solved, we have falling action, all the events that lead to the problem getting solved. And at the very end, it kind of levels out again, just like a roller coaster, where the conclusion wraps up the story. We're also going to be thinking about the central message of the story today. This is the lesson that the author is trying to teach the reader through the story. Think about what the characters learned in the story as you try to determine the central message. How is that lesson important to other people? And what did you learn from reading this story? Thinking about all of those things can help you determine the central message. So let's try this out with a familiar story. Red Riding Hood was warned not to stop or talk to strangers. She did stop and talk to the wolf and he tricked her. The wolf nearly ate Red and her grandma. So is the lesson not to talk to a wolf that you meet in the woods? No, that's way too specific to the story. Remember, the central message is not specific to the events of the story. It's something with a greater message that anybody can learn. So what is the message? Maybe the message is don't talk to strangers. Or maybe the message is listen to the advice of your parents. Those are things that anybody can take away from the story and they're not specific just to Little Red Riding Hood. So as you read a story, think about what can be learned from the main character and what the main character learned. And then think about what you can learn from the main character's experience. Remember that the central message is the lesson the author is trying to teach the reader through reading the story. Now you're going to do some reading and see if you can determine the central message of the story that you read.